Today, we'll be demonstrating the product setup for the JET 14-inch woodworking bandsaw. Be sure to reference your instruction manual for important safety instructions, unpacking tips, and cleanup prior to assembly. Once you have the tools required, you're ready to get started. Begin by cutting the box open and then cut away the styrofoam to expose the base. Start assembling the stand using fasteners and rubber feet. Adjust the rubber feet as needed to level the bandsaw. Then secure it to the stand using two of the four screws and washers. With the help of an assistant, stand the bandsaw vertically. Once the bandsaw is standing up, be sure all fasteners for the base are tightly secured and adjust feet to ensure the tool is completely level. Install the handle by threading it into the front hand wheel. Tighten with a 13 mm wrench on flats. Next, mount the dust chute with four screws. Now it's time to install the table. Position the table onto the trunnion and line the table up to the trunnion slots. Insert the screws and washers, hand tightening screws only at this time. The blade must be installed and the table aligned before fully tightening. Now it's time to install the blade. A blade is not provided with the saw, but you can purchase one locally from your JET authorized dealer. Before installing, be sure to disconnect the bandsaw from the power source. Next, pull the table pin out of its slot and remove the table insert. Raise the quick tension lever to the release position. Guide the blade through the table slot and place the blade loosely in the upper and lower blade guides. Make sure the blade teeth point down toward the table and toward the front of the saw. Now, position the blade at the center of the upper and lower wheels and insert the table pin. Before operating the bandsaw, the new blade must be tensioned and tracked in that order. Please see our maintenance video for more information on blade tension. To install the guide rail and fence, slide the fence rail onto the screws and against the table and tighten the screws. Slide the fence body onto the end of the guide rail and push down the handle to lock the fence body to the rail. There should be an even gap between the table surface and the length of the fence body. Next, we need to align the table. The table must be adjusted so that the blade runs through the center of the table insert, the table is aligned with the blade, and the table is square to the blade at 90 degree scale reading. The table screws should still only be hand tight. For fence to blade alignment, set the table at 90 degrees to the blade and lock in position. Move the fence against the blade, but don't deflect the blade by pushing into it. Verify that the fence top to bottom lies flat against the side of the blade. If it does not, Use the set screws, which are located next to the fence body screws. For the cursor alignment, with the fence against the blade, verify that the cursor aligns with zero on scale. If adjustment is needed, loosen the four screws on the fence body and nudge the fence body left or right along the tracks in the fence guide until the cursor aligns with zero when the fence is against the blade. Tighten the four screws. It is strongly recommended that a dust collection system be connected to your jet wood bandsaw to help keep the shop clean and to prevent potential health hazards due to airborne wood dust. If you have any questions, please consult your instruction manual. Any additional servicing to your jet tool should be performed by an authorized service technician at one of our 750 authorized service centers located in all 50 states. Don't forget that each jet tool comes with our red assurance guarantee. Contact our support team today to find a service center near you.